Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to be fishing a good old trusty drop shot rig out here on this lake. We're gonna be throwing around all kinds of timber and brush and stuff like that. But that's not what this video is about. What this video is about is going to be about a pet peeve that I have uh, fishing a drop shot. Now, first and foremost, I've gotta, you know, you know, give you guys a disclaimer in that I'm not the world's best drop shot angler. I am not a master of this technique by any means, you know, relative to some of the guys out there that, that just love throwing a drop shot all the time. They've always got it tied on. I'm not one of those guys. I kind of fish it out of necessity. <clears throat> and so like situations where I just, you know, I need a, a more finesse presentation. I need to get some extra bites when the bite is really tough. Like on the Tennessee River, during the summertime when they're not pulling current, that type of, of situation, that's when I like to throw a drop shot. And also up north fishing for smallmouth, that is as fun as it gets. Throwing a drop shot for, for smallies is not even finesse to me. It's, it's just a blast. Um, but um, so I'm not like, I like to keep things simple with my drop shot rig. And, uh, but there's one thing that I've really kind of um, ventured away from the norm on and that is the type of weight that I like to use not necessarily the design of the weight because there's a lot of different drop shot weight designs out there you've got you know the traditional ball style drop shot weight you've got a cylindrical style and then you also have a teardrop style which is you know honestly one of my favorites I think it's one of the best all-around drop shot weights that you can use um, but my 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 beef is not with the style of drop shot okay wait it's not the shape of it it's the type of um way that we attach the weight to the line and traditionally everybody uses this type of clip design the clip design the whole idea behind a clip is the fact that you just put your line through that clip and then the clip will pinch the line and that's how it's holding onto your, uh, your, your line is just through that pressure. Um, and one of the other things that is important to note about a clip is that really they were, they were designed to be able to, to have kind of a quick release function. So if they get snagged on the bottom and you can't get it unsnagged, uh, instead of breaking off your entire rig um, the the line being pinched in that clip is compromised to the point that 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 will break first that will be the the weak link in the chain and uh, and so you're just losing your weight instead of your entire rig that is totally sound reasoning I, I'm totally all for that however this clip style design tends to lose a lot of weights unnecessarily for me. Like when I'm casting or when I'm fighting fish, I just don't like these clips. And also the clips, a lot of times, like I can tell this one's gonna be a problem. Some of them are pinched so much that they'll just keep breaking the, the line. You know, they just, you just can't get it, um, you know, the line in there snug enough without it, it just breaking. Uh, and so that's a problem for me. You know, I, I just tend to lose a lot of, of weights because of this style of, of clip. And a lot of times uh, what I'll do, or pretty much all the time what I'll do is to make sure that it's like, if it's a clip that's a little bit loose, I'll tie a little overhand knot on the, the end of the line and then slide it through. That way that little knot will keep it from pulling through the clip on a cast, like a long cast or something like that. But even then, you know, these are just problematic. That's that's all I'm saying. To me, I don't like them. So what I have switched to recently that really works, I really like it, I think it's a better solution, is a traditional line tie. This is actually a weight um, that, that is kind of a blend between a, a cylindrical and a teardrop style. Uh, and it's designed for a free rig um, you know, rigging style. So the free rig is something that's fairly new. Uh, and this type of regular line tie allows this to, to you know, um, move freely on the line for the free rig, but it works perfect with a drop shot. And I just tie it on the line. So it's, 
it's tied on there. It's not coming off unless you want it to. And one thing that I will do to make sure that, that if I need to break it off and not break off my entire rig, I'll, you know, compromise the line in some way, either, you know, pinching it with my teeth and, or, or like just kind of marring it with my scissors or something like that. That way there is a weak spot in the line above this weight. So if I'm trying to break the weight off, I just have to pull and that'll be the first thing that breaks. So that's kind of how I uh, combat the issue of, you know, not wanting to keep retying my, my whole rig. But to me, this style weight with that regular line tie, that is the deal and has been a way better user experience than the traditional clips. So this is just an opinion piece. This is just my opinion on this topic. So, but I want to hear your opinion about uh, fishing a, a, a um, regular line tie like this versus the clip style that has been popular forever drop shot fishing. I want to know your opinion on it. Am I missing the mark? Because, uh, you know, I get really frustrated with the old clip design and I, I want to know if you do too. So thank you guys very much for watching. If you're interested in those, those weights that I uh, showed you that I like to use, uh, these are uh, weights that I, they're tungsten weights that I found on Amazon, pretty cheap for the amount that you can get. And uh, they've got that great line tie on there and a great barrel swivel. Um, I'm going to put the description in the link below or uh, the, the link in the description below. And uh, so you guys can check out those weights. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. I'm going to see you out on the water. Make sure you trust the process.